and see my baby <laughs> lifeless and to say my final goodbye star <laughs> Tears from Andrea Brown as she grieves the loss of her 19-year-old daughter. She was my everything. We did everything. She was like my little best friend. She, I don't know what I'm going to do. She was just such a bubbly person. She would do anything for you. We had the best relationship. She was my twin. For her mother, she wants one thing. Speak up, please. My baby didn't deserve this. Nineteen-year-old Anaya Womack was a loving, outgoing, and bubbly young woman who was considered a social butterfly in the life of the party. She was always willing to lend a helping hand and would do anything to help anyone. Things were really looking up for her. She was looking forward to moving into her new apartment and starting a new job in a couple of days. Anaya informed her mother that she would be spending the night with a few friends. Never could her mother have ever imagined that she would never see or hear from Anaya again. Just after midnight on May 24th, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office were called to Memorial Hospital for reports of a woman being shot. Upon arrival, they would find a young woman fighting for her life as she underwent surgery. We are working to learn what happened in the moments leading up to a woman shot overnight in the Regency area. Police tell us right now she is in surgery. So right now we do know this all began at 1230 last night, just after midnight, when a woman was found on the sidewalk off Monument Road and Tredenick Parkway with one life-threatening gunshot wound. They haven't gotten a chance to talk to the victim yet as she's still undergoing surgery. So it's even unclear where exactly the incident happened. The victim was identified by family as 19-year-old Anaya Womack, who was sadly pronounced dead around 4 a.m. after being dropped off at Memorial Hospital by two unidentified individuals. In fact, the individuals who dropped her off did not provide the hospital with Anaya's name, date of birth, or even the circumstances leading up to her being shot or where they may have found her. They simply left. Anaya's family arrived at the hospital about an hour after she was dropped off. Her grandmother stated that she spoke with Anaya roughly six hours prior, at which time she informed her that she would be home that day. However, she never showed up. According to her family, Anaya was with a group of people, people who they believe aren't speaking up. They feel the circumstances leading up to her death don't make sense. Preliminary information provided by the unidentified man and woman to JSO revealed that Anaya was picked up off of the sidewalk at the intersection of Trednick Parkway and Monument Road. JSO said there was no scene at the intersection, but indicated that Anaya had been picked up somewhere close to the area, then dropped off at Memorial Hospital. It is unclear exactly where the shooting took place or if Anaya was brought there from another location. Now her family is demanding answers. Where are all of Anaya's belongings? Where are her friends that were hanging out with her? Why isn't anyone speaking up? As tears rolled down her mother's face, she vowed to never stop asking questions until justice is served. Bright spirit, loves to dance, beautiful. Um, she she touched everybody. I think the phones haven't stopped ringing for everybody she's touched. Um, in schools, friends, work, she was an amazing person. And her family is big and everybody's hurting. Anaya Womack's cousin, Autumn Redding, uh, says that the family's in a lot of pain today. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says right now they don't know where the shooting happened. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joining us live from JSO. Marilyn, police are questioning the two people who dropped Womack off at the hospital. Yes, when we spoke with them earlier today, the police said that they don't know if those two people were good Samaritans or suspects in this case. Anaya Womack's family says they are feeling incredibly uneasy today and they just don't know if this was an accident. At the hospital, she was Jane Doe. That's not who she is. Anaya Womack's family says she was like butterfly of love, just always floating around and giving love. She was the life of the party. <laughs> they are hurt and out. confused. We love Anaya very much, mm -hmm. so much. They feel the circumstances leading to Womack's death just don't make sense. Six hours before police were called to the hospital, Womack called her grandmother. She said that she was gonna be home today. So that's what we were waiting on for, for her to come home. They say Womack was with a group of people 
some who they believe aren't speaking up. Two individuals dropped the preliminary information. A JSO brought officers roughly 30 minutes away from the family home. Police were canvassing the area of Trednick Parkway and Monument Road. There was no scene here, but somewhere in this area, they say Womack was picked up. They say it was by a man and a woman. They drove for about 15 minutes, then dropped her off right here at Memorial Hospital. Police say the two people that were in the car with her are being questioned. Everything is not adding up and we just want to find out all the pieces to the puzzle. Whoever dropped her off didn't give the hospital Womack's name. The family got there between 1 and 2 a.m. They say she died around 4 a.m. Under the circumstances, it's no reason we're providing a name for her after she passes away. Any accident, you stay by the side, you follow through. This, this wasn't that. We definitely want to make sure that her life is represented to know that they took somebody special from us and we're going to do what we can do to make sure we get justice for her. They love her very much and they just want answers. Police are continuing to question the unidentified man and woman as they investigate a nice mysterious murder. At this time, JSO says it is unclear whether the man and woman are good Samaritans or suspects. They, along with Anaya's friends and family, are pleading with the public to come forward. The case remains ongoing.